Hello and welcome to this session on how to create custom keywords in Catalon Studio. So today we are going to see what are custom keywords, how to create them and how to refer them in the test cases. So let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio and here if you go to your keywords browser here, you will see you have built-in keywords and inside built-in keywords you have web UI, mobile and web services keywords and you have a section for custom keywords and then you have utils so in utils again you have some useful statements and keywords now in catalon studio uh, we know we have a lot of web ui keywords and also for mobile and web services and most of the times most of the actions can be completed using one of these keywords from these sections or categories but it may happen that a lot of times you might need a very custom action to be done which is not already coded or not already scripted as a keyword inside Catalon Studio and in that case you can actually code for your own keyword and that will be called as custom keywords and will be present here and how to do that so you will create a custom keywords go to this plus icon this drop down and here you can first create a package so custom keywords are always created within packages but you can also directly go to keyword here and here in case you already have some package you can browse it or you can create a new package so I will just create com.test.demo as a package and I will say custom functions here as the name of the keyword and the good thing in Catalon Studio here is you get option to generate some sample keywords both for uh, for web mobile and api all the three so in case you want to just refer them and uh, just see how exactly these keywords are created you can select this and this will generate the sample keywords but for now i will just say okay and this should open an editor so you can see this is a groovy script so you can see custom functions dot groovy is the name and here i will just collapse this import statement and you can see this is actually a class by the name custom functions the name that we have given to our keywords and inside this class we can create functions so to create a function I will say def and function name so I will say print uh, hello so in groovy the this starts with this def and the function name and then brackets inside brackets we can also take some arguments but this is going to be a simple function so I will just say start with curly braces so it starts with the curly braces and ends with the curly braces and whatever you write inside this will be a part of the function so for this function i am just saying println which is a print statement in groovy and i can give any statement here and i am saying hello world and that's it now in groovy you can use a semicolon at the end of the statement and even if you do not use it that is fine so there will be no error like in java and i will save this and this is until now only a function this is not yet a keyword and to make it as a keyword or to expose this function as a keyword you have to use the annotation at keyword at the top so this annotation will now make this function as a keyword and this will be present here in the keywords browser so now you can create any test case or use this in any existing test case I have a custom keyword folder here inside test cases I am going to create a new test case here I will say this is test1 and say ok and here now I can use my keyword so there are two ways I will go to this keyword browser go to custom keywords and just see where is my keyword so it is here com test demo custom functions and print hello I can drag and drop it here or you can also use this add drop down and go to custom keyword and add your keyword so I have just added this and I will save and I will run this and let us see I will go to the console and let's see if it prints hello world and yes you can see it has printed hello world here okay and of course you can use all the programming principles so I will just say backslash n here at the starting and at the end just to print it in a new line and this is what a simple custom keyword is and like this you can create any number of keywords so let me create a keyword which accepts an argument so I will say print name this is a new function and here 
in the brackets I will say string name so we are uh, providing a uh, input to, to this function and inside the body I am printing the name so I will say print ln and I can either just say name so it will print whatever has come in the name variable or I can also concatenate it with some other statement so I am just saying here hello and whatever is the name so now I have to use a plus sign to concatenate it with this statement and I can use this again if I want to add some more statement and I will say uh, next line here so this is print name function which accepts name and then prints hello and whatever is the value of the name and to make it as as a keyword I will again use the annotation keyword save this and now I will go back to my test one and now let me add it from here I will say custom keyword and print name okay and if you go to the script view you can also see it like this this is what it looks like in a script view custom keywords dot the package name the keyword name and then the particular function name and you can see it accepts a input and the same thing you can see here in the input column now you see this uh, quotes that means we have to give some value here I can give any value here and now I will save and run this and let us go to the console and let's just see so here it printed hello world and the second keyword was hello and in the name I have passed Raghav so it is printing hello Raghav so this is how you can use these keywords and of course if you use the sample so let me just create a new keyword and this time I will browse to this existing package and I will say this is a samples and now I am selecting this generate sample keywords for web so I'll select this and say OK. So here let me just collapse this import statements and see here you can now see some samples. So if you want to refresh a browser this is how you can create a keyword for refresh browser click element this is a sample for clicking an element uh, get all the rows of HTML table this can be very important so like this you have got this and now you can use this to create any number of keywords and whenever you have a case where you are not getting uh, built-in keywords within Catalan Studio for your requirement you can always go to custom keywords and code for a custom keyword and this is a web page of Catalan Studio documentation where they have discussed about custom keywords and here they have these pages sample custom keywords import export keywords and handling databases so this will be very useful I will provide this link in the notes so this notes will be there in the description of this video so this is how you can use custom keywords in Catalan studio I hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching